All right, happy, uh, what is today? Today is, uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday because I had therapy. Yeah, so today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, got my tea tonight. Uh, so tonight I want to talk about, um, oh man. Tonight I want to talk about representation. I've talked about this before, but it just seems like another great time to like bring it up. Specifically because like, for me growing up, there was just a very, there was just a, a, a very small amount of representation specifically on television of black characters. And there still is now, right? We haven't actually seen a lot of representation around the diversity of like black motherhood, black grandmotherhood, black aunthood, black people in various parts of the country, the world doing different types of careers, especially like technical careers, um, careers that don't involve manual labor, but involve like critical thinking. And like some of the shows that are on television right now, there's one, it's called like the family reunion or some shit. And, um, I, it was with with Tia Maori and they had an episode, it was like the second episode where they talk about corporal punishment, excuse me. And there's also this really weird thing where all of the children look, they look like biracial children. They don't even look like traditionally black kids. And that's kind of strange. It's just like, okay, so this is supposed to be the representation of a black family where you have like super duper black grandparents. And then like Tia, who yeah, she looks pretty black. The husband looks black, but then these all the children look like super biracial. It's kind of like okay, I don't see black kids looking at this show and being able to like identify with it at all. So like I'm not really sure what black kids like. Where are black kids supposed to go to find normal representations of like themselves? especially outside of like the weird ass Instagram culture and like YouTube culture where everyone's trying to be all just extra, but for like, for what, you know, like what, why can't, why can't we popularize just having like normal experiences and normal and a normal gambit of feelings around all the shit. Like, uh, people always talk about, oh, like, black women are so angry or black people are angry or blah, 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 all, all those type of things, right? But then they're not contextualizing that in terms of, like, yeah, well, here are the things that are actually going on in society that might make this particular group of people more angry than other people. Or even expressing, like, what black joy looks like or really just joy in general, right? Because <laughs> it's, like, that's another thing. I feel like... um Korean pop or, or Asian artists who are coming out are also doing this extremely well where there was once just anime and like cartoon representations of like Asian people living life. But now you have like these pop groups who are like singing songs and they're like talking about their emotions and really like demonstrating all these different sides of themselves that aren't just like, uh, I don't know, like characterless or personless or uh, one-sided they're like really complex uh, characters and I feel like I kind of wanted to talk about that I wanted to take more time to unpack some of my experiences and really talk about like in professional work environments like what certain situations like look like how I handled them why I responded a particular way and I, I feel like some people kind of feel like oh my god she's so emotionally like unintelligent because she responded this way and she did blah 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 this shit as opposed to something else right and it's kind of like well actually I mean I just didn't want to be a caricature like what I see is a whole bunch of like politically correct black people who are coming into these professional spaces and making it seem like for the rest of us that we all act that way and well that's just not true like many of us have real uh complex feelings and emotions about you know i don't know being in uh corporate america like what that means what we might feel about it but you know some people have just been so so constrained by the fact that they have to like take care of their family or they want to live in a certain like socioeconomic lifestyle so they want to put forth a face of like here's what professionalism looks like in corporate america therefore i am able to play the part and you should hire me because i have made two finstagram accounts that perpetrate my uh non-conventional 
uh, ways of conforming to what you see as a trope and a regular black person but i have transcended beyond that because i have a college education and i know how to type boop, 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 whatever the fuck that means right and i'm just i really hope that if anyone is watching any of my content you realize that i am a direct i'm in direct opposition to that like all of the things and everything that it means to be unconventional that's me i own that I have perspectives. I also have talent at the same time. Like it's not that you have to have one without having the other. And there isn't, I just want it to be very clear. Like the moment of the politically correct black person is over, it's dead. Um, there are a few people who are left and may those people have a very short career and may the new wave of influencers with opinions and skills thrive and go far because i am just so tired so tired of seeing one trope of like what it is like to be a millennial a professional a woman a person with skills a technologist and um the new wave of content is coming even if i have to create it literally myself um I want to say that tonight and I want to say it like very openly um and I feel like I've known it for a while I I want if I'm the bad girl in tech label me that I am the the what is it yeah, Empire to the Caribbean the Johnny Depp character who comes in and fucks shit up let that be me I guess it probably has been me for a while I own it I am it and here's to the new wave of millennials with opinions and black people with shit to say like let's go